come here uh, for this opening of our the fern habitat kandulim uh, so uh, before i could tell you about myself uh, i would quickly introduce people on the podium here so towards my uh, left is mr noshan mafate who is a senior vice president sales and marketing for the fern hotels we have uh, mr rajiv uh, who is the general manager area general manager for aurora goa hotels here in goa and we have mr sandeep pal Uh, who is the operation manager for Fern Habitat? And I'm Kevin Martins. I'm the general manager sales and marketing for the Western region. Is a hotel management company. We manage independent individual hotels under the Fern brand. We also have two other brands, the Zinc and our Beacon Hotels. Uh, Fern is a leading environmentally sensitive uh, hotel chain, and everything that we do is uh, our operations are geared towards. Uh, environment sensitivity we currently have over 90 hotels in 75 locations in india with over 5000 rooms available for sale and these are under our uh, various uh, brands and sub brands so the fern hotels and resorts is a leading environmentally sensitive hotel chain under that we have the fern which are our upscale hotels we have fern residency which is our mid scale hotels and we have fern habitat which is our apart hotels concept this is a new concept that we have introduced the first apart hotel is this hotel the fern resident the fern habitat in kangolim and the second one that we have opened is the fern habitat in jaipur so uh, it's it's uh, quite a unique proposition and we are very proud of the fact that within a month of launching the brand we opened two hotels of that brand the zinc is a more lifestyle oriented hotel it's a more experiential hotel chain and zinc journey by the fern are our resort locations the first one we opened was the tamarind zinc journey in anjuna which i think some of you had come and seen uh, late last year and the second one we opened within 2 months of that is uh, the arova wood zinc journey which we opened in uh, lonavra so in goa we are very uh, happy to say that we now have with the opening of this hotel we now have seven <laughs> hotels in goa in different areas of goa and in different market segments uh, again in goa within one month we've opened two hotels we've opened this hotel which is the fern uh, habitat in uh, kandulim and we've also last week opened the fern residency in kalangut so we have now a total of 7 hotels uh some with a mix of some hotels catering to the fit holiday leisure segment some hotels uh, catering to uh, corporate clients some hotels catering to uh, conferences mice and large events uh, so for a little bit more details on our goa 7 hotels in goa i'll ask my colleague rajiv kumar to update you on craft media house Thank you so much for joining and taking out from the busy time. Uh, here I'll talk about the Goa. Uh, very happy to announce this is the seventh property we have launched in Goa, and uh, proud to say that no one covers Goa better than us. We have a property right from Vasco to Verna to Kadamba, Old Goa. We have in Panjim, we have in Anjuna, Kandolim, and Kalangur. Uh, our target clientele base is from leisure market <laughs> to corporate we even do a weddings we do lot of mice activity we do conferences exhibitions we do trainings so very happy to announce that uh, we have spread it uh, our arms uh, across the goa and on the footstep of uh, govan hospitality we are doing very good and expecting to do much better in future thank you and first of all i would like to thank every individual present here uh, apart from that if i have to speak about the fun habitat i'm sure mr marfatia and mr rajiv has already given you insight of india and tan goa and this i'm very happy to uh, lead this property being the first fun habitat property uh, for the brand fun brands uh, when we talk about uh, this property we have around 72 rooms and we specially call it a 
apart of hotels uh, that means basically we give you a space of an apartment and luxury of a hotel so uh, when people come on holidays they would like to have a good space uh, to stretch themselves and again a uh, luxury in terms of experiencing the same so we have a beautiful restaurant which is at the rooftop which is called as the Prisado Mar which is uh, we are looking forward to make it a must visit place for uh, upcoming days and years together and also we have a uh, coffee shop which is uh, a part of this organization so we have around five categories uh, uh, basically uh, if i have to tell you like now uh, we have winter green rooms uh, which are meant for friends and families then we have studios which are perfectly for the couples uh, then we have a 2 BHK and 3 BHK setup that can be for friends and families again. So this is basically meant for all kind of uh, guests whom we can welcome in here. Thank you. second hotel that we've just launched, which is the Fern Residency in Kalangur. Uh, this is an existing hotel uh, that we've taken over, re-upgraded, refurbished it and launched it as a Fern brand, the Fern Residency. It has 67 rooms. It's uh, located on the uh, Kalangut Baga Road, very close to the beach. And again, you know, you all know better than me, uh, Kandolim and uh, Kalangut uh, and Anjana are uh, some of the most happening areas for uh, holiday makers. And so we have properties in all these places. The Fern Residency Kalangut has 67 rooms. It has uh, twin restaurants. It has a bar, a conference hall, a swimming pool and a spa. So what we've tried to do is we've tried to niche into different market segments. So we have for uh, a person who wants uh, to have a corporate conference, to have uh, uh, special events, etc. You have the Fern Kadamba, which is our flagship in Goa. You have the Fern Kesarwal Hotel and Spa in uh, Verna uh, area, which is again a corporate area. And of course, with the beautiful Kesarwal lawns, which does a whole lot of local weddings. Uh, then you have the uh, La Paz Gardens Beacon, which is an old institutional hotel in Vasco de Gama, uh, very well known uh, with, with the local Vasco corporate clients. Uh, we get a lot of business from Goa Shipyard and from the Indian Navy, all their <coughs> guests come and stay with us. Uh, we then have the Fern Residency Miramar, which is again a mid-scale hotel for FIT leisure, corporate, people coming for the offshore casinos, etc. They all stay with us. And then we have these three specific leisure destinations in Kandolim, Kalangot and Anjuna, which is pure holiday travel. Although we have conference also, like for example, over here, we can take small conferences at the Fern Residency Kalangot, we can take larger conferences. So we've got now a hotel experience that is available for every sort of market segment that comes to Goa today. Very happy with the uh, government support and uh, the administrations also. So you talk about um, be it uh, Goa tourism, be it uh, excise, be it uh, fire safety, be it uh, food and drugs administration, you know. So uh, very happy to, to, say, to say as an entrepreneur that uh, they all would like to make Goa as a role model for uh, hospitality. So they are extending their courtesy, their help. Uh, it's going to be a one single window kind of clearance where uh, they have always uh, on a helping nature to set up this place or any other organization, any other hotel and uh, not facing any kind of challenges in terms of running a business in Goa. That's a very good part. So. Goa basically what we have noticed here is right now since we are focusing majorly we are getting international travelers here but being vocal and talking local what we have seen is Goa has been very supportive in all our trade fairs so in our trade fairs today if you ask Gujarat market or if you ask Maharashtra market they eventually produce more than 35 to 40 percent of their contribution coming from those cities to Goa and that is only and only possible because when you're marketed in, a, in all these cities, you get the plus point here. And obviously, we being the strength of 90 hotels all over India, it plays a very vital role that on the map, we are very clear. So today, Goa is not only talking about leisure market, but if you see, Goa is also promoting a lot of sports around. 
So today, we right from getting a cricket team to a Kaiserwal hotel to getting a football team to our Kadamba hotel. So even those segments are now producing towards our group, where eventually earlier it was not that strong. But in the past, after the post lockdown happening, we have seen those business also getting attracted to Goa. Definitely, but first, our first uh, primary focus is obviously to consolidate within India. Uh, having said that, we have a hotel operation running right now in Nepal. We have a Fern Residency brand hotel in uh, Bharatpur Chitwan, which is the entry point for the Chitwan National Park. So we have a hotel presence in uh, Nepal, and we also have a chain of uh, four uh, boutique hotel resort properties in Seychelles. Seychelles is a country of islands mm -hmm. and the three main islands are Mahe, uh, Praline and Ladik. They are connected by flight and they are connected by boat, these three islands. These are the three main islands and we have hotels on all the three islands. So we are the only hotel company in Seychelles that has properties on all the three islands and we have a very, very uh, popular island hopping package that is sold by certain local Indian DMCs also. Uh, Indians are uh, traveling to Seychelles in growing numbers. Every year there is a growth, year on year growth to Seychelles. And being an Indian company there, we offer uh, Indian cuisine along with the Creole cuisine. We offer tandoori items. So it's very popular with, uh, uh, with, the, with the Indian clients who go there. So these two places we already are. Uh, right now, we haven't looked seriously at expanding our footprint in other places because we first wanted to consolidate. Uh, we are now 93 odd hotels. We should be reaching the 100 hotel mark uh, by May or June this year because we're opening another 12, 15 hotels this year. And once we consolidate at the 100 level, then we can look. So obviously, yes, we are interested in doing brand fern, brand zinc in places like Dubai, in places like Thailand, in places like Sri Lanka. So, yeah, definitely we will look at expanding overseas uh, later on. <coughs> uh, apartments, uh, apartments and rooms in this hotel of different types. Our base rooms are wintergreen. So, those are individual rooms with a common hall dining area. Ideal for couples, ideal for families as well. Then we have studio rooms, which is a one bedroom unit with a separate uh, Kitchen, kitchenette area and these are great for families or for, for couples then we have our wintergreen one one bhk units which is a bedroom with a hall dining with a sofa bed and an extra bathroom so again lovely to have for uh, families so two adults and two children in other in a hotel room you would be cramped or you have to take two rooms here they can comfortably fit in the wintergreen one bhk <coughs> Then we have our Fern Club, two BHK rooms, which are two bedrooms with a hall dining. Uh, so great for family units or for friends coming together. See, most often the issue with uh, groups coming in or friends coming in. So, so if three or four couples come together, if they stay in a hotel, what happens is that they all have their individual rooms, but there's no common area where they can sit out or hang out. So then they have to either sit in the lobby or in the coffee shop or go out. Here the beauty is you have this beautiful hall area which is the, just exclusive for your for you. So you have your own privacy in your room, but you have a common area just for your group. So the two BHKs are very very popular for that. And then for larger groups, we have the uh, Fern Club Premium three BHK units. So we'll show you all that. We'll show you our rooftop, which we have, which is our main USP. We have a beautiful infinity pool. We have a uh, glass. Uh, glass uh, gymnasium with a glass front gymnasium so it overlooks the mountains and the greenery and we have this very very nice new resto bar concept the Brisa do Mar that we have opened up which is great for evening cocktails for get togethers for special events and evenings so see all that and then we'll meet for lunch yeah thank you Basically, these are two individual rooms for okay. common living space. When two families take together, okay. this becomes as an advantage mm -hmm. that they can just enjoy their spare time together. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to go to any other mm -hmm. area. Outside or cafe. Yeah. Yeah. We all have a bar.
ngiye kubwira There are two families, you can give them two different rooms. Okay. It has a. Uh, it's recommended for a family with a kid or else for a couple. It has in a uh, common washrooms which are in a. It has a bar counter and also it has a convertible bed. If you have an additional kid later, no, it can be accommodated right. Okay. So the first leap was the first leap is the and it is also the last leap to die. Okay. So what in an area is oxygen level goes, everything dies. But the fern has uh, capacity itself to last too long. Okay. So when the fern But where is it from? All over. In India. So when a fern leap dies, they say there's no oxygen level. Okay. So no, so we decided for because for is longevity, for is basically it has a self-sufficient three individual room along with the additional uh, the firm club premium. It has in three individual rooms along with the living space where the families, larger families and friends can stay together. And in the evenings, if they want to spend some time together, they can just have this time sitting together in the living space. So in the hotel, you'd have your three rooms, but where would you sit? Here, you have this private area. Where you can also sit, order, etc. Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Bedroom, bedroom. And also, if you see the room. This is one beach key. One beach key with a sofa bed and a separate bathroom. Okay. This is the one beach key. As we said, this is one of the places we are going to make it a must visit place when you come to Goa. Okay. A speciality of this uh, floor is that like, we have a kids play zone which is right there towards the right and there is a workstation, there is a pool and there is a restaurant. If a family comes together and if they want to spend some time and uh, someone wants to work, they can work. The kids can be monitored along with that and your family can enjoy in the restaurant or in the pool. So that makes it perfect place to unwind along the It has a very beautiful uh, 180 degree sea view and the perfect time for a sunset. A sunset and uh, you can see the nature open to the infinity view. Yep.